The instrument that we are now covering is the ultrasonic thickness gauge, which is also referred to as the material thickness gauge. The reason why I mentioned the word ultrasonic is because the principle of the instrument is uh, that it sends short ultrasonic pulses into the material whose thickness has to be tested, and uh, it does so through what we call a transducer. And as you can see, the transducer has a crystal wear face over here, which has two sections, one a transmitter and one a receiver. Through the transmitter, it sends ultrasonic pulses into the material for which the thickness has to be tested. Where the density of the material changes, the ultrasonic pulses uh, return back, which are then received by the instrument, and an accurate reading of the thickness of the material is recorded on the LCD display of the instrument. There are two ways the instrument is utilized. Uh, either by having a known thickness measurement uh, of the material that we're going to test to calibrate the instrument, or we know the material velocity. What we are signifying is that before the instrument is utilized to test the thickness of any material for which a quality control test is going to be done, uh, it's important to calibrate the instrument to that material. Uh, so let's say, take an example, if we want to measure the thickness of the glass over here, we take, uh, and we do not know the velocity of the glass that we have over here, then we simply use, uh, use a vernier and we put on the instrument, uh, zero the vernier, and we take a reading of, from an edge to exactly what is the thickness of the glass. For example, now the glass thickness over here is 12.98 millimeters, which gives us uh, an almost accurate uh, reading of the uh, of a known thickness value of the glass that we will measure. What's important to note is that because it's a quality control application, uh, we, what we are wanting to see is that at this edge the glass thickness might be 12.98 millimeters, but is the glass thickness the same at all other locations? Now, before I actually get into the utilization of the instrument, uh, the instrument is capable of measuring thickness of a variety of metallic as well as non-metallic substrates. Uh, various metallic substrates can include uh, steel, carbon steel, aluminium, titanium, various steel composites, that means all types of ferrous or non-ferrous materials that we normally use in a construction grade environment for which we want to do a quality control test. It also measures the thickness of non-metallic materials that we normally use like plastics or glass or various other types of materials like that. As I mentioned, there are two ways that you can utilize the instrument by calibrating the instrument on a known thickness or a known velocity. And once again, as I start, we know that we have one known thickness of 12.98 millimeters. Uh, so we put on the instrument to start using it. When the instrument comes on, it displays the last known velocity of any material that we may have tested that is of no significance. We then use a couplant. A couplant is utilized to create conductivity between the transducer and the material that we are going to test. So we put some couplant over here on the top of the transducer. Now before we start using the transducer, we press the PRB button over here, which means a probe zero. That means we are first calibrating the transducer itself. At the moment we press the PRB button, it displays, as I meant, as it shows over here, P05, which means that the transducer that we're using is a P05 transducer, which is operating at 5 megahertz frequency. This is a probe zero disk, so as soon as we keep the uh, transducer at the top, you have a random value that comes on the instrument, uh, which allows the transducer to be basically calibrated. Uh, and uh, allows the instrument to be used. Then uh, we've already taken a vernier adjustment and we don't know the velocity, so we press the calibration button over here and the millimeter button starts functioning, starts flashing I mean, and then we simply bring the value of the known thickness to the point which we had measured, which in this case was 12.98 millimeters. Once the 12.98 millimeter reading is over here and the millimeter button is still flashing, then we press the cal button once again. And then we put the, uh, some couplant on the material that we're going to be calibrating to. As soon as we keep the transducer, the moment we put, press the calibration button, the millimeter display over here stops flashing. And at that same moment, we're supposed to put the transducer on top, on top of the material that we're testing. And as you can see over here, we're getting a reading of 12.96 millimeters. That means while the thickness reading over here was 12.98, the reading over here is 12.95. Similarly, we can test the thickness at various other locations. For example, here it's 12.95, or at another location is 12.98.
at all times there is a, a contact display over here which confirms that the, the, that the contact of the transducer with the material under test is perfect. Uh, as you can see again, we're getting a reading of 12.97, 12.98 over here. Tells us that the material uniformity in terms of material thickness and the quality control of this material is, is perfect and within tolerance of roughly plus minus 0.02 millimeters, which is a good quality control. Thank you.